How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. So first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy 2023. Hopefully it's a good year for you guys. Um, I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm hungover really bad. Um, but, you know, uh, just like with, uh, you know, I was thinking I was thinking to myself, I'm, I'm happy the gains I made in 2022, but it's like what Kobe said when he was up 2-0 in the NBA Finals, the, the job's not finished. So that's kind of how I look at it. I'm like, there's always room to improve. There's always, uh, you know, goals to be set and, uh, you know, be happy and thankful, but at the same time, keep, uh, keep pushing your boundaries, keep pushing your, uh, your limits. I want to make a video about my goals list. Um, I always write down goals. I have a bunch of lists everywhere in my house. I, uh, I write lists of stuff I want, stuff I want to you know, achieve, reach, and things like that. Um, so 2023, the number one thing on my list is uh, getting a place in a nicer area. So like I've said in previous videos, I plan on selling this townhouse, which you know, I mean, it's it's not a terrible area, but I want to be in that nicer, safer neighborhood, and uh, it's a really big goal of mine. Uh, and uh, in the spring, when the weather gets nicer, there'll be more properties available. So that's when I'm going to sell, and that's when I'm going to start looking. So uh, I'm very excited about that, and uh, you know, being in being a in a safe area, nice area, and uh, you know, I deserve that, and not too far away from work, but on the opposite side. Um, I plan on getting out of Cook County, going into Will County. If there's something in the city that's really nice, I might consider it, but I'm hoping in Will County. Um, <clears throat> Cause Cook County's in the branch of like Chicago, the South side and uh, you know, not the best areas. Um, number two on my list is getting back into MMA. Now, uh, you know, with my work schedule, it's, it's hard to train consistently and I really want to get back to, you know, training in May. Um, I, uh, I want to get some mats. I already got a heavy bag that I'm going to, I haven't got around to setting up in my garage. So I'm just going to wait till I move to set up my heavy bag. I want to get some wrestling mats and, uh, some wall mats so I could do some MMA takedowns and, uh, work on cage work and stuff. So I plan on, uh, you know, making my own little home gym and, uh, that'll be a project once I, once I move, getting my own, making my own little, uh, you know, little gym where my buddy Tom and whoever else could, we can come train, get our work in and, uh, get back to training MMA again. Cause it's something I really enjoy and something that, uh, you know, makes me feel good and raises my confidence up and, uh, I want to get back to it. Uh, number three, I want to stay consistent. 2022, I was pretty good with cooking, so I want to. I want that to bleed into 2023. I want to cook more. I want to, you know, it's it's cheaper than ordering out, and uh, you know, it's healthier if you're cooking the right things. Uh, cooking more vegetables, uh, smoothies. I try to make my smoothie every day. I. Uh, you know, cook something healthy like fish, chicken, uh, get my protein in, uh, stay consistent with the cooking because every now and then I'll get too tired. I'll stop at Chipotle or, uh, little Caesars or something, just, you know, something easy. So I want to stay more consistent with cooking and specifically healthy stuff because if you're feeding your body good things, you'll feel good. You know, your body's your temple, uh, and it's crazy. Some people treat their cars better than they treat their own bodies. So I want to stay consistent with that cooking and, uh, you know, still feeling young and fresh. Uh, I'm about to be 29 this year and uh, I still, uh, the, the testosterone still flowing and uh, everything's uh, everything's up and energy and things like that. So, um, yeah, staying consistent on feeding my body good things, treating my body right. Um, number four, growing my YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate, I'm so thankful for every one of you guys, uh, growing my channel. It's, uh, I like that you guys comment too, because, uh, you know, I don't know everything and I got some veteran carriers. I got some carriers in different areas that 
uh, share their experiences in the comments. So if someone looks at my videos, they could scroll through the comments and make their own judgment on the job based on other people's uh, experiences and uh, you know their uh, what they do at their offices and things like that. So uh, you know I I, I want to grow my YouTube channel and uh, have a place where uh, carriers and uh, alike can uh, you know conjugate and uh, you know talk about the job and. Uh, just know that we're all in this together and we're not the only ones uh, out there. Uh, there's plenty of people across the country and, you know, out of country too that uh, are doing the same thing. And not just USPS, there's UPS, FedEx, Amazon. Uh, yeah, I just want to, I want to grow the, grow the space, grow the channel. And uh, number five is, I think is the most important one is be happy. I always put this on my uh, New Year's resolutions because, uh, you know, it's so important because we sometimes forget that we try to make other people happy. You got to make sure you make yourself happy. Be a little selfish. Uh, do things that you enjoy. Do things that uh, make you happy. Being happy is super important because a lot of people, especially now with like Instagram and uh, stuff like that, they want to look happy. But being happy is a whole different thing. And, you know, being genuinely happy is such a, like, that's that's the ultimate goal right there. So, definitely being happy and uh and i am thankful for where my life is right now and uh and i'm thankful for where it's going so uh because when i was like 21 22 i had literally nothing i had nothing to be thankful for i was very uh depressed and things like that and uh that's when i started self-improvement that's when i started working on myself and uh it's been like a eight year journey almost and uh, just working on myself. I never thought I'd be where I'm at today and uh, I'm still pushing my boundaries and my limits. So never thought it would be, uh, you know, and I never thought I'd be on YouTube. You know, I've always, when I was younger, I didn't like presenting things in front of the class. I was, I'm always been a shy guy, you know, uh, as I've uh, gained my confidence up and worked on myself, uh, you know, you, you push your boundaries, you, uh, gain confidence and uh, you become more outgoing and uh, you know you stop caring what other people think and uh, and it's just uh, it's just been a good thing working on myself and uh, when you work on yourself the project is never finished so you're always improving always improving because the two, 2023 Nick is going to be a lot more improved than 2022 Nick and if you're not improving every year then that's an issue if you're staying the same that's an issue so I'm always looking to improve myself in every asset, every aspect of my life. So, uh, yeah, be happy is the most important one. So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate every one of you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great new year. And, uh, and yeah, uh, recover from that hangover. <laughs> recover from that uh, long night you had last night. So, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.